Welcome back, everyone, to the Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn mod, where we are trying to destroy France once and for all. And it's not working out partially because of Germany, partially because of a bunch of different things, partially because we're getting nukes, but soon enough, we shall find a way. Now, I don't like that my uh, purple army, <laughs> I'm gonna call it that, is so spread out over such a huge portion of territory. So I'm gonna take them, and I'm gonna reduce their air of competence right up to this lake near Geneva. And accordingly, I am going to reduce the air of competence of my mechanized troops to the northern area of Geneva, from Geneva to the north. And I'm going to try to make that happen while we are in the middle of the war, which isn't going to be that easy. Now, in the south, we also have this mechanized force. That is having a lot of successes, actually. So hopefully, that's going to be applying extra pressure on the French. In the meantime, uh, that was another nuke in the most useless place ever. And yeah. Oh, the nukes have actually reduced my national unity quite a lot. Look at that. That's not good. So far we haven't really lost any VPs, but if anybody really starts capturing my VPs, they're... Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna capitulate me really quickly. How about France? What is their national unity? Where is their... Oh, that's why the Germans sent troops, because they have really good relationships, it seems. Well, good enough to get the Bundesmarine ship designer. Uh, what about your national union? 85%. How incredibly annoying. So we're gonna have to push really, really hard in order to um, grab ourselves France. So they recaptured Nancy, but we're gonna re recapture it right now. People are trying to naval invade me. That's hopefully not going to work. Yeah, 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 sure. That's getting really annoying. Can we attack there? No, we can't. So at least the French are wasting their troops on some suicidal attacks in certain sections of the front. Uh, they've retaken Geneva with help of huge German forces. Not good. Oh boy. I can try to do something up here. We're damaging these forces quite heavily. Really? You are retreating? How is it even possible that you lost that engagement? And oh, Turkey has called Kurdistan. Oh, we're now doomed. And oh, apparently we lost Albania entirely. Not good. Okay, so at least the fighting in the south is turning into our favor. But in the north, things aren't going as well as they used to be going. So, hmm. Partially because of the Germans, who are incredibly annoying. Very good, at least the navy is going well. 
And what's really annoying is that if the Russians were to send their troops into France, then they would achieve some really good successes because their forces aren't bad at all. Well, some of them aren't, at least. wonder where the Afghanis are. I really wonder. I don't know where they are, actually. Let's see if I can spot a flag of Afghanistan. I don't see Afghanistan. Oh well. Uh, nothing weird happening. No, nothing. Good. So our territories are still providing us with aid. And the French and Venezuela aren't doing as well as they could be doing. Okay, so we got some reinforcements. Send them down. Uh, things aren't going really, really badly in the central front against Switzerland. Which is weird, because that's where my two fronts meet. So you'd think that that's where they'd be going really well. Oh, that's not good. That dealt probably some damage to my troops there. Oh boy, that's kind of dangerous. Also, I do not know who's attacking and why. Some Alpine troops. Clearly brainless ones at that. Not really quite sure as to what they're doing. There goes Zurich. I'm sure the Germans will be very happy about that. Probably should have waited until I had nukes myself before going to war now, really should I? The damn Germans. They're just such dicks. Because their troops are essentially preventing me from taking Nice. Okay, now what if I was able to take out that guy? Very unlucky, unlikely, sorry. But maybe, just maybe. Nope, can't. Too many enemy forces. Oh no, don't do that. Yeah, things there are going really badly. Because I'm getting surrounded in a way I didn't expect to be. They took Turin because my forces were kind of stupid. They're trying to push through the concentration of enemy forces instead of going around. And I'm not sure why you guys are heading right into the jaws of the enemy. Oh shit. That wasn't what was expected to happen. Okay. Sure. So they're still nuking my stuff. Not sure how, considering I have air superiority. So they're not supposed to be able to nuke me. In that area. Uh, oh. Yeah, all of the following must be true. At least 75% air superiority in the region. Oh, right, because Switzerland is not part of that region. Sure, if you say so. If you say so. Okay, so I know what to do, kind of. 
I need to get these. I'm gonna get four wings of them in Lombardy. I'm gonna try to use them to intercept the enemy. No, 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 no. You should be on that plan. You shouldn't be doing retarded things. Wait, what? Hold the fuck on. Yeah, you're in the correct plan. Stop whining. Okay, I think we can retake Strasbourg right now. Oh, if we were a little bit shrewder, actually, we could surround these men. At least France seems to be running out of equipment. Although we are running out of equipment too, so that's not something we should be too happy about. Ah! Bloody Switzerland. Okay, we might be able to surround Nice. Nope, we cannot. Because there's tons of American forces now there. So that isn't going as well as planned. Okay, at least things seem to be stabilizing across the front, uh, despite the nuke situation. Okay, so now you are... well... Wait, what? You have to be shitting me. So they have their superiority there now. Not good. Not good one bit. So they can now nuke me there too. Uh, how incredibly annoying. Uh, let's switch around from army training to construction repair. Because uh, we're getting our stuff nuked a little bit too hard. So let's also focus our construction on repairing military factories that are going down. Because that is by far the most important thing to keep alive is our military factory infrastructure like that bloody Germans though they are incredibly incredibly annoying I will ignore that uh, I don't think I can ignore that hey at least the NATO forces are absolutely destroying themselves in their frontal assaults. So now we can go on to counterattack. Of course, the problem is there's huge American hordes now ready to face us. Now, I was hoping to be able to win before that happened, but oh well.
Oh shit, that's a dangerous breakthrough. Let's try to seal that off. As quickly as possible. Now, how come we are so weak there? Yeah, I really do not want Baron to fall and to stay under the control of the French. I want to seal that off as quickly as possible before they can use it against us. In the meantime, I think I need to reorganize my air force a little bit. Because things aren't going as well as they could be. I think it's time to get all my fighter wings a bit of a makeover. Now, I knew this would happen, kind of, because, again, I'm fighting NATO, so... The amount of enemy planes is quite ridiculous. And we also need to intercept there now. I'm supposed to have more interceptors somewhere else, I think. Oh well. Get them up and running. Why are you out of range, though? That, to me, doesn't really make a lot of sense. You're right there. Oh, look! The Canadians are here. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, our navy seems to still have the control of the Mediterranean Sea. Quite thoroughly, actually. I'm surprised. And even my other fleet that was a little bit wrecked earlier has now resumed operations. So at least we're not going to have any surprises from that front. Good. Very good. And we're also uh, smashing a lot of convoys. So probably a lot of troops in there. Well, most likely. Some troops in there. And yeah, they're taking huge losses, especially the French. Canada somehow has lost 17,000. United Kingdom's 50,000. Mostly that's ships, I think. 22,000 Poland, yeah. So they were transporting around troops that we have been... Seemingly doing damage to. Let's try to attack there. And yeah, look at that amount of Americans in uh, Nice. That is not healthy for us. Good, at least we're able to push through in the southern areas, and Iraq is now called in. So please, call in Egypt too. I don't really care about Iraq. I don't have any way to hurt Iraq. Maybe the Saudi Arab... well... Uh, Islamist Arabians want to get a piece of that, but definitely not me. And yeah, here the French are starving. We're gonna let them starve in the jungle. Because, of course, that is what real men do to their enemies. Come on. The Germans are bringing in their tanks, which is annoying as hell. really need additional anti-tank. But 
But so far that is not in the realm of possibilities. We could try a breakthrough like this. Oh, we appear to have a bit of a good offensive going. So our offense is going well, our defense is going well. Nice. Ooh, we could pin them pin the seventh Panzer Brigade against the lake, but that I think there's too many forces in that area. Wait, what? Okay. How are our interceptors faring? Our, our fighters lost 242 enemy also, so they're working, and they're doing pretty well at it. Psych also, Southern Italy is free of enemy planes, but I'm sure that's not going to last too long. Slovenia, in the meantime, looks to be running out of equipment. There's British forces there. Okay, so they've made the trek and are now there. That's not very good. Oh, look, it's the Polish Navy again. Damn. They're just not quitting. In the meantime, we can try to do something here. That might work. It might want might not work. Yeah, no. It's not going to work. Uh, is it though? We might be able to push through. Uh, you have no missions. I know. I know you. You have no missions. Oh, well. So as soon as I go out, they come in. That's ridiculous. That's a little ridiculous indeed. Still duking it out with the Polish on the seas. Yeah, I know that sounds a little ridiculous, but that's what's happening. Okay, so the Americans are now starting to distribute their hordes along the front lines, which is bad. You know what would be really good right now? If Russia declared war on NATO. That would be really good. I think I might try to join the CSTO. Because we don't have our own faction. If the CSTO were to take us, to take pressure off of us in the east, that that would be pretty good. So I think we're gonna try to get the CSTO to help us. Uh, of course, that is going to reduce our repair speed, which is bad. And we have unfulfilled imports, unsurprisingly. Steal from the Germans, sure. Wait, what? Why can't we trade with Russia? I guess we do not have the trade route. So why, why can they even... Oh, I guess we just cannot trade. Wait, what? We can trade, though. Oh, we have a surplus. Okay, sure. And here are the Americans. That's the first encounter we have with them. Their modern tanks are scary. But they're in the mountains. Which means that they're not going to be doing as well as they could be doing. Okay, now that we're fully on the defensive, I think the casualty exchange ratios are going to be much into our favor. Although, you really want to be ending the war as quickly as possible. At least in France. I think we can 
increase the speed. At least now that it's more of a stalemate. So how are our equipment situation looking? Uh, very bad. Very not good. Oof. That's not the best. Soon enough, hopefully we're going to have the equipment uh, back. Uh, at least I hope that we are sustaining our own equipment more than the French are, who look to be pretty much out across the lines. Finally! So they've called in the Egyptian Republic. So our army here... Oh. Well, now the Egyptians have an army. That might not be too good. Can we defeat them? Ugh. That's not looking too great. But we have a strong... Uh, we have a strong as fuck force up here. Hopefully they can reach Alexandria and Cairo and capitulate Egypt. How is their national unity? I'm gonna have 16% or less, so they're very good off on national unity. Which is bad. Also because they will, they will most likely be cutting off our forces in East Africa from this little bridgehead. Which is annoying. But in the meantime, I think we can use our armor here good effect. Looks like France is quite stable right now, so I'm gonna stop looking at that quite so much. You're gonna head right off into the desert so that you can distract them. In the meantime, our armor is gonna be providing the punching power, hopefully, to take the rest of the fight to them. Very good. So Alexandria is gonna be ours soon enough. And we're going to be able to link up with our forces in uh, Port Said. And hopefully put an end to Egypt like that. Very good. So at least our mobility superiority on Egypt paid dividends. We might be able to take Cairo before they can react. With our armor. Very good. Very good. Then you are going to head into this area of Egypt. Oh. You're having problems. You should do that. So that you can cut off Cairo and... Karen, that other place, Port Said. Oh, they have Suez on the other side. Right, I'm so used to that being... Oh, that might be a problem. But if we can attack Cairo from multiple flanks and take it, then that's going to be a pretty decent thing. Oh, it would be so very good. Actually, I'm just going to get all of these people off the plan. Because it is very, very dangerous to have such a uh, long-winded plan. Yeah, please go away, Poland. You're not needed there. Not at all. Oh, come on. That is so fucking annoying. Okay, my armor doing its job. Very nice. So now I'm gonna bring my bring my tanks over. And hopefully they... I'm gonna try to destroy the Egyptian tanks first. Good. 
Ci muoviamo, avanti! Ce ne andiamo da qui! Ci muoviamo, avanti! Si può fare! So my armor is not needed up there anymore, but it's needed somewhere else. You two are gonna finish off that guy. Good. So they're, uh, oh, no. Um, so far, seems like France is going about as well as it has ever been. Oh, big naval battle. So far, I haven't encountered the American Navy. Or, well, there's obviously American convoys, but the American Navy itself eludes me. And that's kind of scary. Because the American Navy is the one that's going to be having the big guns, I'm guessing. It says that it has up to eight, 180 ships, so nothing to scuff that. Could be very, very bad. Uh, but I'm going to stop it right here. want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Millennium Dawn, World War Free, and I'll see you soon.